Hello, everyone. Finally, we are now on the last leg of our lesson on the scientific method. If you haven't seen the previous videos, feel free to check them out through the links below. So after presenting the results of our experiment through our data presentation, we can now finally have our analysis and conclusion. Data analysis is a process of interpreting our results to transform them to useful and relevant information. It is easier to interpret results that are presented in an organized manner. That is why it is very important to have a strong data presentation to create a good analysis. So what are the things that should appear in our data analysis? Here are some guide questions that we can answer in writing one. First, what do your results indicate? It is called analysis for a reason, so we do not just restate the results, but we interpret them. The goal is to convert your data to useful information. Second is, what do your references say about your results? Does your prior research agree with the results? If yes, that would be good, and if not, then you can explain why. And third, what are the possible sources of error? In connection with the previous one, you can discuss here the errors in your experiment and the things that could be improved to avoid the errors. But here are some pro tips. Pro tip number one, choose the right references to use as strong evidence for your research and that will highlight its relevance. And pro tip number two, do not forget to cite them properly as well. Conclusion, on the other hand, is the last portion of your research. It contains the highlights of your study and it answers the problem statement, objectives, and a hypothesis. Your conclusions should include a brief summary of your findings. Provide the most relevant highlights of your research to emphasize the significance of your study. It should include the answer to the problem statement and objectives. Include a short discussion if your problem statement was answered or if your objectives were addressed. In this portion, we also tell if we are accept or reject our hypothesis. Based on the analysis, we can already identify if the results agree with the hypothesis or not. If the results agree, we accept, otherwise we reject. And finally, we also add our recommendations. What can you suggest to improve this research? It could be something to change about the research or something else that we can do in the future that is related to your topic. In most cases, authors have this portion separately, but we can also place it here. So that's it for this lesson. To recap, do not forget to add all these things in your analysis and conclusion. I hope you learned something new today. See you in our next video! Did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more.